would be untrue You know that I would be a liar the Santa Monica Pier is a very popular family fun attraction with amusement park rides, vendors, and a beach. A great place to be, but it was not always that way. In 1983, a storm completely destroyed half of the pier, leaving it in ruins. It seemed as though the pier's days were over. However, the residents of Santa Monica wanted the pier to be restored. And in 1988, the restoration began. Once the pier restoration started in 1988, what was the first thing you had to do? Well, at first we had to develop a master plan and that was rather complicated because we had to limit the amount of money to be spent from what had been gained after the damage from the state and the federal government. And we had to get the approval of the Coastal Commission, which limit the amount of money to be spent from what had been gained after the damage from the state and the federal government. And we had to get the approval of the Coastal Commission, which didn't want us to have more parking spaces than we originally had. And we had to determine the cost of the restoration so that it met within the guidelines also could have adequate parking for the new additions. What part of the pier had to be fixed first and why? Well the west end of the pier, 150,000 square foot, had been taken away by the 1983 storm so of course we had to rebuild that. In addition, in order to begin putting building and amusement park back on the pier, we had to do a lot of infrastructure work, including fire suppression, which had never been done before, so we put a whole sprinkler system under the pier. Once all the stable structures were built, they were able to begin building the amusement park rides that were to be on the pier. Was the initial decision to have an amusement park built there? Well, the city of Santa Monica had acquired the pier and they wanted to have it built as much as possible as it was originally built in 1910, which included an amusement park. While we had to modernize the rides, we were determined that we could have the same kind of pier mix. To be able to get the Ferris wheel on the pier, you had to go through a lot of trouble. Why was that? Well, the city council had determined that they didn't want to have a very large wheel. They said it would obstruct the view from the pier of the Malibu Mountains. So they limited me to 80 feet, knowing, 80 feet, knowing that the purchase of a standard Ferris wheel was 85 foot. In order to overcome that, we cut a hole in the pier and lowered the wheel down below so the total height was 80 feet. And that worked really well because then the people getting on the Ferris wheel could step directly into their cars. The pier was forming into something completely different than before. It was becoming a more family-oriented attraction, rather than just a plain old pier. The pier already had a rich history before all this happened. Was there any pressure to make it better than it was before? Uh, the pressure was really to build a modern pier with all the upgrades that are necessary, but to retain the quality that it's had over the long years. So in order to do that, we put new food service and new rides on, upgraded, but we still kept the mom and pop operations and served the food that traditionally is served on a pier. And the merry-go-round, for example, as a ride, is still a 25 cent ride for anyone. After it was all done, were you happy with the outcome? Did you accomplish what you set out to do? I was more than happy. The community loves the pier and everything came out as we anticipated. We, however, didn't have enough money invested to do something, for instance, like replace the ballroom. Instead, we have outdoor dance music during the summer, and we get 15,000 people on the pier. We are very proud to have done what we do, did. I personally am proud and honored to have been a part of it. Today, the pier is a major attraction for Santa Monica and California in general, having millions of visitors a year. But this legendary pier would not have been this popular attraction that exists today if it wasn't for all the people who worked so hard to restore it.
making the same amount of up here what it is today.